graphics here again. Um, I was uh, searching the web. I was looking for um, a way to add uh, advanced custom fields um, uh, field to the cart page and to um, the checkout um, emails, uh, just to the, the checkout email. And I couldn't get the custom field to carry over. Uh, it was driving me crazy, so I ended up just sitting down and kind of hacking it out. So uh, this client, um, this the, the uh, video is not going to cover installing advanced custom fields um, or anything like that. So if you're interested in doing that, you can just head on over to uh, the plugins, click on you know add new, and then you can add uh, advanced custom fields. The free ver version will work. Um, but the paid one's better, but you can, you can just install the free one advanced custom fields by delicious brains. Okay. So once that's installed, it's going to make a little, um, thing over here on the side, click on your field, field groups. And if you don't have anything in here, you're going to click add new and then you'll create your field group. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you, I have one created called extended details and then, uh, you, you name it here, extended details, and then you're going to start adding your field groups here. So uh, I'll just get to it for instance, okay? So I needed um, packaging to show up, okay? So I ended up calling it packaging and then the field name, you're gonna need this later. I just called it packaging, keep my life a lot easier. It's a text field, right? And so it's actually on, um, and the rest of the stuff doesn't matter, right? Uh, so I have all that entered and then I would just click on update, okay? So once I have that completed, I'll scroll down the page and I look how I want this page set up. So I want that to be available on the product pages. So if um, I'm actually on a, a product page and I want to see packaging and then what it is for that particular um, uh, client for that page, you'll see here it says packaging each. Okay, so that's on the product page. Um, I'm not going to cover how to add it there. Um, that, that could be in another video. But anyway, it's the same way. Pretty much. So we make sure we got post type. Um, so it's the rules are post type is equal to, and then you got the product page. So if I go under this particular product that I just showed you, let me go ahead and open this up into my admin, and I'll show you this. So in here, once you add that custom field, it's going to make um, there's product skew. It's different. So you keep going down the page, down the page, and here's packaging now. So it ended up adding under extended details, right? So I ended up having extended details as my uh, field group, right? So extended details, and now I've got packaging, and this product has each, and that's what was displayed on the product, right? So let me put this back over here, okay? So for this product is what we're talking about. And it's on all of them now, so they all have a different packaging size, okay? So now if I... Um, um, I'm basically done at this point, okay? I'm gonna make sure it's active, and then whenever I add packaging on the product, on the front, on the, any of the products, it'll show up on that uh, product page because I added um, some code in there. Um, now, if you wanna know how to do that, um, I made another video for that, and uh, you can search my channel. Um, if I've got it up, you'll, you'll see it there, but, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our um, FTP program because we want to display this packaging on the checkout page and also on the order email that comes in. So if I um, just go ahead and open up this website here, let me just open this guy up. Uh, here, I have to strike this over. Sorry. So let me add this to my cart. So I got it added to my cart, and so notice now I've got packaging each right here. See that? So usually the regular product page will have product, price, quantity, subtotal. Okay. Now I didn't put it on the rest of the pages. So if I go to proceed to checkout right now, and I have all this information in here, I didn't update the order details right here to show it. So I probably should do that as well, but they haven't asked me to do it, so I'm not going <laughs> to add the extra. So once I go ahead and select this to order this to order this uh, um, this product, it's going to send me an email, and now um, the packaging is going to be on the email. Now that's in the the uh, video following this uh, called Advanced Custom Fields: um, How to Add a Custom Field to the WooCommerce um, 
emails and you'll see that so uh, in the next video so if you're looking for that it's also in this channel so now what I'm gonna do is I have packaging I have it added to my product so now I want it to display on the cart page so the way that I do that is I go ahead and, and log in you know the FTP I'm not gonna let's see I got a bunch of stuff open here so let's close this stuff out uh, here we go okay so I have a um, a child theme right created and um, everything should be going in your child theme you don't want to put anything in your regular theme so now what I need to do is I need to go into the plugins okay and I need to find WooCommerce and I need to go underneath the um, templates and then I need to go inside a cart inside a cart here you have all these files so you don't want to change any of these if you change them and mess them up you're gonna uh, be, be in for hurt locker and you're gonna have to re-download it or reinstall it or whatever so what you want to do is um, I use uh, Visual Studio Pro uh, I use Sublime Text and a couple of other ones Dreamweaver you could use whatever HTML editor you feel comfortable with but I use uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this close it so I'm gonna go ahead and open up that file so I'm gonna open up cart dot php right and I'm gonna to want to name that and move that this entire thing cart dot php over into um, yeah okay so I'm gonna to want to move that over into this exactly as this is right cart.php over into and make a new file so I would copy all this code first you know select all copy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back over to um, my theme so go back over to your theme and in my child theme I have something called WooCommerce you're going to need this folder WooCommerce and then inside here I'm emulating the same thing so I got cart and then here's my cart.php well I've already created that these are this is gonna be empty there's not gonna be anything in here because you're gonna create this folder called cart and then it'll be empty and so all you would do in here is just go ahead you know create new file and you'll call it cart.php and then it's gonna be a blank file right so let me just call it cart, cart one and then I'll say here so I'm gonna open this up and watch what happens so now I open up this file and it's blank I got nothing so I'm gonna take the contents of this original one and paste it into this new cart one okay so I'm not really going to use this but let me just copy it and then I'll close it and now I have cart one open I'll paste so now I've pasted it so all of, of the carts in here so look product price quantity and subtotal well if you look at my um, cart page here it says packaging in each right so that's where this line of code is right here. See where it says product and price? You just copy this whole thing. So let me insert here. Copy this whole thing right here. Copy. And paste. Oh, here. This thing's kind of a pain sometimes. Paste. So now I've got the same line right below it, right? So since this. Uh, I want it to look like the price, you know, the way it's nice and pretty. So I'm just going to change this to the word packaging or package or whatever you want to call it. I added packaging, okay? So now I called it packaging. Well, there's a couple more things I need to do. So I'm going to scroll down here. And if you look at this, you start reading this. If you read this slowly, you'll see that this is the like their product remove section. And then you'll come down. Here's where the thumbnail gets added. And then right here is where the title is um, for the product, right? So if, if I'm coming down in here and I want my um, uh, information to show, I'm going to have to add another table data, right? So this right here is product. If you keep going down, you're going to see price. So I've got product and I've got price. So now I need to make this, this table, this uh, TD, right? So in between those two, I'm going to go right to the end right before quantity, or I'm sorry, right right before price and after um, this guy. So right before price, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put in my information that I need for my um, my real cart. 
So I'm going to go ahead and open up the other one because I already have the code done. So let me open this. So you'll see in my example, my new one, my correct one here. And then you'll scroll down and I'll paste this in the description below. So you're going to put it right above that price. So here you go, right here. This right here, copy. And I'll go back to my cart one here. And it's going to go right here. And you paste it in there. So what this does is it's going to create another column, right? And the title of that column was was named here. So I got product price. Oh, I probably want to put it before that. Yeah, so I put it before that. So if you look at that, packaging came after. So it came after product here. Sorry about that. So yeah, you put it before price. You're going to put this before price, the packaging link, right? And then you'll, so I don't have to move that because I'm not using this file. But um, so let's go down here and let's deconstruct this little guy right here. Okay, so the class product name doesn't really matter. It just tells it how it's going to look. Is it pretty? Is it not? And then you've got the data title. And that's, this is going to insert the actual title that's going to go into um, uh, uh, the cart, right? So it's saying, hey, here's my, you know, packaging for is my WooCommerce. I'm allowing you to do this now. And then here's my field. So remember earlier I had the word packaging for my text field. So that was on my uh, text field here, packaging. If I click this right here, field name, right? Packaging. Then if you just copy this whole thing, the whole code that's down below, so it's PHP the field. This is taken directly from advanced custom fields up to here. But then it, this little snippet right here was gone. So you need to actually pull in the product ID because it's going through a loop and it's picking the, the package for each of the products. So if you have 10 products, it's gonna you have 10 different things on your package. One of them's each, one of them's uh, pounds, one's them, you know, 10 pound bag, one of them is 100 per case or whatever. You'll have all the different ones here. And that's what the product ID does. It pulls the product, it goes through the loop, and then it gives you the correct um, package that's on that. Um, so you could go one further if you wanted to like hide this stuff. You can use if statements and then not show it. Yeah, right now this is just hard coded. So then all I would do is I would save this, and then it's going to upload again back to because um, the way I have it set up, it'll upload back here. I don't need this file. I'm just going to delete it just for example. But this is the file, right? Cart.php. So now if I go in, I'm going to be able to add stuff to my cart, and now I'll be able to see the each for that product. That's it. Hopefully it'll help you out.